Do you encounter an agent claiming themselves as real estate salesperson and real estate broker? Or he or she claiming to be a freelancer sales agent? Fellow Toastmaster and our distinguished guests, good evening. If your answer to my previous case question is yes, such person with that personality could be illegally practicing real estate and did not know about the new law, the Our Republic Act 9646, 9646 or Real Estate Service Act commonly known as RESA. From being a sales agent in since 2006, I become I became a real estate broker on April 2014 when I passed the real estate exam for real estate broker. And currently I am now taking BS real estate management course in order to qualify for the real estate appraise real estate appraiser real estate appraiser in accordance or as per resa as per resa as per resa requirements I know I can help you. I know I might help you. I might help you regarding real estate transactions or real estate information. Allow me. Allow me to share to you. Allow me to share to you the difference between real estate broker and real estate agent or real estate salesperson according to Reza. It was it was a bit it was a broad topic to discuss. That's why I just want to share at least three insights to fit the discussion to a five minute to a five to seven minutes allotted time for us. First, the definition, the definition according to Teresa, real estate broker is a duly registered and a licensed natural person for a, profession, for a professional fee, commission, or any valuable consideration act as an agent to a party act as an agent to a party huh? to, a, to a party of any real estate transaction to offer to advertise to promote please mediate and negotiate or affecting the mind or affect the meaning of the mind in the sale in the in the sale in the sale purchase lease mortgage or joint venture of any real estate transaction of any real estate or mortgage or mortgage or joint virtual to any real estate transaction of a real estate of a real estate or any interest therein. That was stated in section 3 paragraph G to section 4. While the salesperson is a duly accredited natural person who performs service 
in behalf of real estate broker. Real estate broker who registered and licensed by PRBRS or Professional Regulatory Board of Real Estate. For an, for an expectation of share of commission or professional fee, compensation, or any valuable consideration. Second is by qualification. In Section 14 of RA 9646, to qualify to the examination of bro to the broker exam, the applicant A candidate at the a candidate at the time of filing of his or her application established to the satisfaction of the board that he or she possess the following qualifications a citizen of the Philippines and a graduate of any bachelor's degree course to any is to any uh, school or institution from a state or university or college educational institution duly recognized by the child provided as soon as leading in bachelor's degree in real estate service implemented by child the board sh shall make the course as a requirement taking the license examination and real estate salesperson no examination required provided that but they shall be accredited by the board but they shall be accredited by the board provided that they that they have completed at least two years in college and undergone real estate seminar. The real estate salesperson is accredited and shall be under the direct supervision and accountability of a real estate broker. And third is by the is by penalties. If the salesperson found guilty on of any of any violation to any real estate regarding uh, of any real estate transaction even without even without the knowledge of the broker whatever punishment or penalties may in, penalties received by the received by the uh, received or incurred, incurred, or incurred by the salesperson, it may do it may it may double for the broker. It was like it was goes like it was it was like this. It was like this. If the salesperson, if the salesperson finds 100k and charge in charges in charge of two years imprisonment the broker will find 200,000 pesos with four years imprisonment that's why the salesperson shall be accredited supervised and supervised uh, and direct supervision and accountability of the broker now we learn that we learn and if now we learn and able to identify the difference of each other in terms of definition qualification and penalties to the violation in addition real estate, real estate 
broker can be can accommodate only 20 salesperson 20 salesperson in his or her licenses salesperson are not allowed to receive a commission but through the broker salesperson are not allowed to be a signatory to a real to poor signatory for any real estate transactions unless supervised by the broker therefore the authority to sell issued to the in the name of salesperson is not binding is not binding unless unless it was countersigned by his or her broker by his broker to make sure in to make sure that you're in good hand to make sure that your real estate transaction to make sure that you, that your next real estate transaction is in good hand transact only with the professionals if an agent come to you and offer a property or any real estate transaction, always ask the name of her, of his or her broker. Check, check with the broker if the agent is in fact working with his or her accreditation. To know more about to know more about my topic or any real estate transactions, you may send me text. You may send me a private message or text to my number zero nine one seven three nine nine seven six nine zero, or you may visit or you just you may visit or or may just visit my website www.bjarealtyhomes.com Back to you in control, Toastmaster Diving.